Yeah, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another narrated battle uh, of my channel. Uh, this is probably the the, uh, the upload just before um, just before the what's it called the Q and A video with the face cam, face reveal, and all this fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, we have a battle here. Uh, team preview. Uh, this battle is against was um, the. And he has a uh, pretty threatening team. Carnivine is a threat in DDT. Also, it is Smurgle and Agron. So I have to be careful with that. Uh, my team, though, I'm gonna explain it really quick. Uh, this is the this is a defensive uh, max max HP max defense. Uh, Marowak, because I wanted to try that. He has left overs. I know he doesn't have thick thick club. Uh, I'm I'm that. Guy <laughs> using leftovers on a support set, okay. Uh, then I have Cell Smash, Weak Armor, um, uh, what's it called Cell Smash, Weak Armor, Macargo, which uh, in this battle does nothing. <laughs> uh, we have Quillfish, Defensive Quillfish, just uh, Hazard User, Taunt, and Destiny Bond. Uh, the Evil Rotom Fanboy Substitute Pain Split will always put this charge too, so we have like a dual status on it. Then we have Milf Tank, which is a bulky attacking Mil Tank uh, with three attacks and a Mil Drink. And a Scarf, Scarf 4 attacks Haunter. Uh, yeah, this is my team. Pretty threatening to his too, so I'm glad for it. And I guess we can start the battle. Yeah. Uh, I'll lead with the Marowak, of course, and he leads with Agron. Um, let's both exchange rocks. I thought he would switch, but he doesn't. He stays in. So, and he stays on Heavy Slam, so I, I was over predicting the first turn thing that he would switch, but he's not switching. Uh, and I was like, well, damn, I guess I'm gonna attack you now that, now that I'm almost dead. Uh, and look, Boomerang does nothing. Because <laughs> I'm defensive, you know, that's why. It's a waste of a Marowak, you, most of you would say, and probably is, but you know, I don't care. And I go down to Heavy Slam, which is okay, because now I can go to Meal of Tank and go for the Revenge Kill with E-Quake. We, uh, so now we're even. Meal Tank is here, sitting pretty comfortable. Um, and he brings the carving. I I guess I'm gonna go for the earthquake, doing some nice damage. And he goes for the moon blast, which does a lot. Maybe it's a spec one. That's what I was thinking at the moment. And I go for the meal ring again, just in case he switches. You never know what people do. And then I decide, well, uh, he's <laughs> totally staying in non-stop. So I guess I'm gonna start equaking the shit out of this carping and try to kill it the fastest I can. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do, easy as that. Uh, so yeah, so nice earthquake here. He goes down. Carping is dead. Beautiful. Um, but now he has a free switch to Beedrill and go for the... Uh, Mega Horn, but I have the Quillfish with Intimidate, Defensive, I resist that, I can take that like a boss, even if it's bad, look at this, Killfish, what is it, <laughs> 2 OP for DDT, so that means I can put the spikes on his switch, that should be the smart thing, and it is, I did the smart thing, yes, uh, now I stay in, predicting to over predicting over the Will Wisp, and I go for the Destiny one. that means it's, uh, it's a uh, sure layer spikes, but before I want to go for the taunt just in case it was a rest sleep tox set. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. Now uh, I predict him to over predict here again. I'm not switching up storm, so I'm gonna put my layer spikes and go for the ice fang predicting probably the rotom. Uh, yeah, and does nothing to quillfish, so that's great. Uh, I also am faster, so I'm gonna put my last layer. I should wait for the destiny bond. But you know, it didn't kill and then burned killed me, so Testament would not affect. So Spikes in the end was a great play. And now I'm gonna break this, uh, thinking that maybe he's scared. I can scare him and I can sell smash on his switch. And you know, that's not happening at all because he goes for the power whip and destroys my Macargo. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, well, let's hope this will do something someday, I guess. And I'm gonna bring Brood of Fanboy. And I'm gonna substitute, uh, predicting the switch, but he is stubborn and he doesn't want to switch. And I was like, what? Well, then I'm gonna will with you if you don't, if you want this thing burn it. And he predicts bad, goes for the sucker punch as I go for the will with, which was a nice play for me. And now I, I was thinking that I can sub. No problem, because he's burned, he can break the sub. And he actually can with the uh, ice, ice fang, which I was like, well, shit. 
I guess I'm gonna deal some damage with this charge, this charge all over this big mouth, and that does nothing, which... And then he gets a crit with Ice Beam, which mattered, which totally mattered. But now, I think I can bring Milk Tank, Milk Drink, no problem, uh, because he's burned, he cannot do damage to me, look at this, he doesn't go for the power wave because I have the sap burn and he probably know that so yeah I was predicting the sucker punch here and he's gonna die for the burn anyway so I can go really for the mill green be at max HP and yeah try to make this try to make the combat all the hazards that quillfish put and Marrow put are doing a lot of job a lot of work here he goes for the mech and does a lot to mill tank I'm max HP so that did that did a lot not gonna lie, he brings Mirgul, I should have predicted a close combat, but I was not sure, just in case, uh, he goes for Spore or something weird, uh, I don't know if in DDT can, can remember, probably, uh, but anyways, I died to a close combat, but that doesn't mean I can bring Haunter, I'm Scarf, I lock myself into Sludge Wave, and let's see if I can kill the Fridge, uh, Roman predicted to 50%, come on, come on, uh, no, oh shit, now I die for the Ice Beam. Yeah, but wait, he was Life Orb all this time. He was Life Orb, and that means last turn it was a tie. Uh, you never see a tie that often, but this was a tie. Uh, thank you for the battle, uh, WSDFG. Um, I hope you all enjoy the battle. Q and A going up this week or something. I don't know when I have time to record it. Uh, and yeah. That's pretty much it, that's the battle for you today, it's an old DDT battle with all the DDT matches, uh, teams that I have around. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy this, give a like if you did, and see on the next thing I will do. Bye. Yeah.